Here I have a 3D perspective view generated from a camera. I want every cut surface or cut element in this view to be coloured black. So that means the walls, the ceilings, the floors, windows, doors and also furniture. If I go to the visibility graphics of this view, I could select all the relevant categories and change the cut pattern to solid black. However, note that for certain categories, for example, furniture, I cannot set the cut pattern. And therefore, this table element here and chairs will not have the cut pattern overridden as black because it is not possible to override the cut pattern. Additionally, I would have to select all the relevant categories and I risk missing a particular category. So the way around this is if I select edit type of the 3D view, note that I have a coarse posh material as a property of this 3D view. I can see that it is a material property and if I select in the value of the coarse posh material I can actually change this value from by category to a different material from the material browser. If I scroll down I see that I have a material already defined as posh in this model and this material has a shading appearance, a surface pattern and a cut pattern. I have set the cut pattern of this material to be solid black. So if I select this posh material and click OK and click apply, it has now updated all of the elements in this view that are being cut by this view to the material specified in this coarse posh material property of the 3D view. And if I zoom in, this includes elements which typically cannot be cut or overridden with a cut pattern such as furniture and up here railings. So this is a handy way of being able to override the cut graphics of elements in a 3D view. Note that this only works in the detail level course. If I change to medium, then the cut representation of the elements is defined by the material specified or applied to that element. So that's a handy feature to override the graphical representation of all cut elements in a 3D view.